ുംസ് <laughs> When we recall our memory about the Anuradhapura Kingdom, of course, what are the main fields we can talk about the economical? Irrigation network, agriculture, tourist attraction are the main fields. When we talk about the irrigation system, according to the history records, there are a great achievement in the field of irrigation. Great kings, Vasaba, Dhatu Sena, Devanam Piyatis, can't forget when we talk about it. Not only that, Vasana, each and every king came to power of kingdom, did a great service for the development of irrigation network. Lakruan, let us stop that story for a moment and shall we turn into the agriculture? Okay, sure Vasana. There are two seasons called Jala and Maha, mainly kingdom based on agriculture. Not only that, Lakruan, in that era, metal work was an important and well-developed industry. Weapons and tools needed for the military were produced in a larger scale. Can we found any indication regarding the development of metal work in that era? Why not, Lakruan? The Loma Mahapaya was the best indication. When we talk about the today, you can see. Thousand and thousand visitors are coming to the enjoy the beauty of kingdom. Yes, Lakruan, we can see it in our eyes. Although there were many threats and difficulties during the COVID pandemic, now everything will be recovering. Look, Vasana, the flower selling people on the side of the road also live with this income. Directly or indirectly, Kingdom of Anuradhapura did a huge service for the stand of living of these people. thousand of people get attracted to this kingdom because its current and economic value is in it vasana yeah i am totally agree with you akran and finally i have one thing to ask from you what is it is anuradhapura worth to visit of course vasana it's worth much the income gained by tourists contribute for the foreign exchange finally we should really be proud as a nation with the golden history and those heritage then warmly welcome to, to the kingdom, kingdom of anuradhapura today we have come in front of the sacred city of jaisri mahabodhi which is the oldest city of worldwide with the written history It is said to be something from the historical Bodhi under which Buddha became enlightened. At the same time, it has an effect on legend regarding its plantation. Can you try it, Chamara? Yes, Vasha. The sound, the south front branch of this sacred tree in Buddha Gaya was ceremonially brought to Sri Lanka by Ara Sangamista Mahathir during the regional of King Devanampiya to the plant of this Bodhi tree. His royal path, Mahamegavan Udyani. in andarapura and the garden of parat mahind mahapir yes chamber since then this highly sacred garden compared with the living buddha devastri shining with glory at this place with the golden fence 
So this is the place that attracts local and foreign tourists and Buddhists to visit and pay homage. Actually, thousands of foreign uh, come to annually. Sri uh, Lanka visit this secret uh, tree as another Yes, brother. You can see it now. During this COVID situation, a number of tourists have come to visit. So we all can be found to be citizens in such a country. Good morning, auntie. Good morning, son. How about the business, auntie? Not bad. You are from... Yes, yeah, son. Auntie, we are from University of Kalania. Auntie, can we talk with you for a while? Okay, sure. How long have you been here, auntie? I have been here for 30 years. By the way, Andy, is this income sufficient to survive? Somehow we manage it. How about the business in COVID pandemic? In those days, we were very difficult to live. All of us live from my son's salary. Nanda, how you find these flowers? Son, we picked these lotus flowers and those manil flowers we bought from sellers. At which price you buy that many flowers, auntie? We buy it at 10 rupees. By the way, Nanda, how many flowers you can sell per day? When we take weekdays, we can sell about 2,000 flowers and at weekends we can sell 3,000 to 4,000 flowers. How about the Corona season? In Corona season we received 5,000 rupees and we spent money we have put up. Nanda, who brought many flowers? I mean Sri Lankans or foreigners? Mostly Sri Lankans, son. But if months came, from Thailand, they bought many. How about the income gain from this auntie? Son, it was difficult to live earlier days, but now all things will be received. Then we will go, Nanda. Thank you and see you again. See you soon, Puta. <laughs> As you all know, we are at one Mali Mahasaya today. Mahasaya, Mahasaya, Swarnamali Saya, in any name, we call it one Mali Mahasaya. Do you know this is one of the Solosmastana and Adamastana is in East Chatuska? Of course, Sachi. This is one of the most important and scared place on the earth. Chatu, do you know the creator of this priceless scared place? Definitely, Sachit. Great King Dutugamunu should receive the honor of building this. Although King Dutugamunu unable to complete it, the rest of it was completed by his brother Saddhatissa after the death of King Dutugamunu. According to Mahavansa, is it believed that this stupa contained drawn of filis of Lord Buddha? Apart from that, Sachit, near the east gate, you can see a statue. This is believed that belongs to King Dutugamuna. Not only that, at the left of the gate, there was a recently made statue. It also believed that belonged to Goddess Vihara Mahadevi. Have you seen the beautiful ivory wall 
at the entrance. Uh, why not Chatu? That ivory wall is a very unique creation. Do you know Sachi? It was a nice and marvelous creation of King Sadda Tissa. Anyone who come to visit Anuradhapura not going without worshipping this scared place. The old crest gem of Ruanwali Sire is priceless, isn't it Sachit? Yes, of course, it is that much worth to us. The people all over the world wonder about the technology used by our people to build those things. As a nation, we are proud of our heritage. There is a large number of people come to worship these stupas because of the miracles in them. Yes, Chatu. According to my point of view, we can't find a day without town here. Now we have come to see Loa Mopai, one of the Atmasta. Yes. This is situated between Ruanwali Mahasaya and Sri Mahabodhi in the ancient city of Anuradhapura. Aisha, do you know why we call this Lohar? Yes, Sakura. The Lohar is of course covered with bronze tiles. You are right, and this was built by King Dutugama, described by legend as nine storied place, and it has taken years to complete. Yes, the total stone pillars are 1600. We heard that Lower Mahapaya was adorned with corals and spurious stone, but we can't see those things now because this building was completely de destroyed during the regions of King Saddatissa. Yes, now we can see many ruins because of this archaeological value. Both local and foreign tourism has flourished. Yes, and we saw along the way how many jobs have been created in this regard. It has a positive impact on our economy. Yes, I'm sorry. Without further speaking, let's go and have the place. Sivandi, can you guess what are going to visit today? Avishka, can you give me some hint about it? Sure, it was one of the world famous Buddhist church in Anuradha Kingdom and it is made of marble. As I think that there will be Samadhi statue. Sure, guess it's correct. Yes, we are in Samadhi statue today. By the way, Sivandi, do you know who created this? According to the Mahavan chair, this statue belongs to the Abegir period, but there was no any specific information about who created this. Uh, I am angry to say only, uh, but as I have here, uh, Agulodhi Sananda uh, Kumar Swami has said that this statue was created by a Chinese sculptor. And also in early days, this image was uh, created and had I encrusted with valuable gems. Did you know how it's there? That place will be very famous statue too. Of course, the best example of that is Indian first Prime Minister of Jawaharlal Nehru holds the photograph of this statue when in prison. That he also comes to see this. No, this is a world famous statue and even this epidemic situation, there was no shortage of local and foreign tourists. Therefore, I believe that this uh, statue will be contribute to the economy of Sri Lanka. Today we have come very world famous city in Sri Lanka. How about your idea? Yes, Sajini. It is historical city in Sri Lanka. Now we are in Anuradhapura district. At this time, we are near the most amazing place in Anuradhapura called Sandagada Pahana. Kaushalya, what have you heard about this creation? Sandagada Pahana, also known as Moonstone, is a unique feature of the Sinhalese architecture of ancient Sri Lanka. It is an elaborately called semi-circular stone slab usually placed at entrances. Although the moonstone is semi-circular, sometimes you can come across a square moonstone. This again developed to include multitude of carved de decorations in later stages. Sajay, do you know what are the symbolizers in the Sundagata Pahana? Yes, I have heard. Uh, it symbolizes about Sansari Buddhism. And also this is the place attract local and foreign tourists like to visit and it's a very uh, power to our economy. Yes brother, uh, we can see uh, now also, uh, so uh, we must protect this uh, historical place, it is our response. Yes Sajini, so we can proud about our country. 
What do you think about our country? Mm -hmm. um, it's very beautiful. We've been here for three weeks right now and we were able to see a lot of things like the South Coast, the national parks, the um, highlands with the tea, candy and now this cultural center here in the middle of the island. What do you think about our culture? Oh, Sri Lanka has a very long and interesting culture we didn't know before in Europe much about it and since we visited here we learned a lot so many places like here with a lot of long history which we didn't know about so very interesting for us to learn and maybe also nowadays cultures very friendly very oh. open people very um, a lot of hospitality and awesome food oh, yes food great, great food great <laughs> <laughs> food is best yes <laughs> thank you sure. where do we real stay lakshan in fact we are on the brink of masterpiece of the past green pond at the dam uh, i can't even imagine what is this design this is the green pond a valuable creation of all engineers so twin pond is probably due to two pond right yes to net you were right what is reflected in these pond and letters lakshani actually to net this means prosperity let's go down to the pool are you crazy to net this pond was created to come here no no i made a little joke All right, sir. If you know, tell me how the water comes to this. I think it is by raining. No, no, sir. The water for this comes from the underground pipeline. I really cannot imagine. So glad to know this. So, sir, let's go from here. Okay, Lakshani, let's go. When we talk about the, the kingdom of Andhra, there is a stupa which added to our history recently. Do you know how to tell you? What is it? Yes, as I told you before, it is from the root stupa. Yes, you are correct. But why after such a long time this stupa built? And the root stupa was dedicated to oil. Yes, you are correct. The old form of stupa was completed by hundreds of soldiers. Actually, this root uh, stupa was Morning, uncle. Good morning, son. Looks like work in the morning, isn't it? Of course, son. How about the business, uncle? Not bad, son. But these days, business is little less. Uncle, how much does it cost a kilo of fish now? Son, they buy from us at a price of three hundred rupees per kilo, and sell it at a price of five hundred rupees. By the way, uncle. Are fish caught daily? Yes, son. 
but there are some season we can't catch fish how many kilos does you all can catch per day around 10 to 15 kilos do you know son fish can only catch in 70 days per whole year uncle how about the corona season somehow we have to manage it son is this income sufficient to serve you it's like this son during the season we can't catch fish Therefore, we mortgage our jewelries and after that we will recover them. That's how our life is gone, son. By the way, uncle, how you manage cost of living with the cost of goods? It's so different, son. See the price of 1 kilo rice and price of vegetables. So the daily wage is not enough to live. But however, we have to live. However, live isn't it, uncle? Yes, son. Although day by day the price of goods will increase, but our income is not. Uncle, do you go early in the morning or at night? No, son. We go early in the morning and cast our net and come back. All these boats are locked before 6 p.m. Uncle, can you catch fish in these day? It's just like this, son. We can't catch fish when the season of play next. This season also a line season. So we can catch little number of fish. That's how we see the freshwater fish life. Is it it uncle? Yes son. This is our life. Then thank a lot uncle. See you again uncle. See you son. And another important place of our journey. This <laughs> is another important place in the Anradhapura kingdom. The one who come to visit Anradhapura didn't go back without having a bath in this bag. Sanava is the engineering marvel of Sri Lanka. Kaushal, can you remember the creator of this huge tank? Of course. According to Mahavansha, King uh, Devanampiyadissa built this tank. At last also, Tisava was the place which supplied water to the whole country. How in the same way? How shall we? We can see these old fields near the tank fed by this tank. Yes, this is the source of supplying water and drink in agricultural process. The whole world are showing about the technology used by our lessons in building such tanks. This is the end of our today's journey. Yes, see you again.